Oh my god, you guys don't know how excited I am about this video. Oh. Plus, I also feel like a fairy with this blouse, so totally fits the theme of this video. Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. I am in the middle of my exams. Well, I have finished six out of the seven, so that's not completely true. But in two days, I still have my biology exam and that I am done. I'm done with high school, hopefully, because I still need to graduate and... But ah, I am so like in such a good mood right now. I'm also going on vacation this Thursday on the 25th of May. I'm gonna go to Bonaire, which is like an island in the Caribbean. Ah, I'm just so excited, but that's not what the video is about today because today I am gonna show you guys an unboxing of what of the May fairy loot box. And I am so, so excited if you couldn't tell already because I mean, I'm just, really excited. I have been wanting to get a bookish subscription box for a while right now and uh, you know you always hear about Owl Crate and Fairy Loot is also well known but yeah it's quite well known. I wanted to say not as well known as Owl Crate but I feel like it's like on the same level right now um, but Jesus Christ, I'm so excited my voice is acting so strangely. <laughs> so I've been comparing the two boxes because, you know, I wanted to order kind of like a popular box and I like the Owl Crate boxes, but I definitely prefer the Fairy Loot boxes that I've seen until so far. Um, and the main theme is Warriors and Legends and I'm like 99% sure I know what book is inside of this one. Wow, the sun is here. Hello. And I only want to get the fairy loot box if I am pretty sure that I know which book is in the box because that's of course why you kind of get it. Um, because the box is quite expensive and I only want to get books that I really like because this box cost me 43 euros. So you pay 26 pounds for the box only and then you also have to pay for shipping and because I live in the Netherlands and this box is coming from the UK the shipping is 13 pounds. So in total this box cost me 39 pounds which is 43 euros which is not cheap at all but I've been wanting to get this for such a long time and all the items in the boxes until so far are really adorable and uh, the June theme for fairy loot is elementalists and I've also pre-ordered that box because there was gonna be like so many great things in it let's open the box I've been waiting for this moment for over a month right now um Okay, so I don't have scissors with me, so I'm gonna use this nail tool <laughs> to open it because I'm lazy as shit and I don't want to get scissors. Oh, okay, 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 it's opening, it's opening. are more than true not because they tell us that dragons exist but because they tell us that dragons can be beaten oh my god so I think on here okay so this is the card of like the theme so the theme is warriors and legends and I think that on the back there will be like information oh yeah it's a spoiler card so here are the things like oh my god oh my god I see stuff I see okay I'm not gonna look on this card you have information about the products that are in here Okay, so this is what it looks like when I opened it. So I see some stuff in here already, so I'm just gonna pick something from it. What is this? Oh, it's a tea. Oh, it's Warrior and Legends tea. Okay, so I'm gonna make close up of the products, but this is Warriors and Legends tea, jasmine and lychee, lychee green tea. I really do like tea, but I don't really drink it that often, especially because summer is coming right now, but this is so cute. Oh my god, a special fairy loot limited edition tea. Okay, I wanna open it. Um, ooh. Okay. Ooh, look at that! Ooh, this smells really good! Ooh, it's sweet! Oh my god. Ooh, this smells good. So, jasmine and lychee lychee green tea. I am a big fan of green tea, but this smells super sweet oh my god that's awesome so i do need to like get a how do you call that like a tea leaf strainer thing that you can like put in the hot water this smells amazing yes 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 so oh my god this is the candle and it's so cute it's so tiny and it's really cute it um this candle is from in the wake of time which is quite a popular like scented candle company on etsy i think and this one is called mist 
it's supposed to smell like warm stone and wood smoke and I'm usually not the biggest fan of like smoky wood scents so I do hope that this is gonna smell nice okay so it just looks like a regular candle Ooh, it's very like um it's not a light smell like it's not a light smelling candle but it does smell really good I wouldn't really say that it would smell like warm stone and wood smoke but well kind of like the wood smoke but it just smells sweet and kind of like kind of like heavy but not like too heavy you know it's not like in your face but it's like it's there. I'm so happy because I always want to buy scented candles on Etsy but because most of the candles are made in the UK or in the US the shipping cost is just as expensive as the candles or even more expensive which I think is ridiculous because most of the candles are already like eight euros. Now I have a scented candle! Woo! What is this? Are these socks? I think that these are socks. Ooh, Celtic socks! Look at that! So, uh, Celtic warriors are fearless, skilled, and deadly, and it's believed that women fought too. Yes! Okay, so I'm gonna open these because I wanna feel if they are soft. Ooh, oh my god. That is so nice. Look at the print, it's so cute! Uh, I'm definitely gonna wear these, but not right now, but that is adorable. It's again a fairy loot exclusive. That's so, so cool about these boxes. You get fairy loot exclusive things, which is awesome. Oh my god, what is this? Ooh, I think that this is a pen. Look at that. It's a feather. Yes, it's like a feather pen. That is really cool. I can be like so fancy writing all of my stuff for school while I still have school and be like, I'm writing with a feather. What is this? Okay, okay, okay. So here we have the wooden bookmark. Oh my god, oh yeah. That was one item that was gonna be inspired by the Lord of the Rings or the Hobbit or something like that. And I've never seen the movies. I've never read the books, uh, but this bookmark is really cute. So on this bookmark, it says one ring to rule them all. And it is beautiful. This is a wooden bookmark and I thought that it was gonna be a lot thicker because I don't know I just thought that it was gonna be like real thick wood um, But this is adorable and this is from ink and wonder designs. So Really adorable bookmark. I love them. I can never get enough bookmarks. So this is great So here I have world mythology in bite-sized chunks That is so cool untangling the complex web of Deities, monsters, and myths. This is the perfect primer to world mythology and its extraordinary impact on cultures past and present. This fascinating guide reveals all the intriguing stories behind the titans and creatures, gods and goddesses, heroes, and traditions of legends from around the world in easily, in easily digestible uh, bite-sized chunks. That is so cool. I love mythology and it really intrigues me all the time. I have almost finished the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series and like I think that's like Greek mythology, right? I think it's really interesting and this is even more awesome. I hope that there is some like Norse mythology in here as well. Okay, so what do I see here? Oh, okay, so I was confused by this. I was like, what is this? But it is a chapter sampler of Nondal by Maria Turchinov. That was really bad. Maria Church. No, okay, I'm not gonna try it. I'm not gonna try and say that name. Um, so this is a chapter sampler. I've never had this before. Ooh, there's a map in it. I'm definitely gonna check out the book on Goodreads and see if it's like any good. So right now there is the bo uh, the book. I almost set the box. Right now I have the book. Ooh, I'm gonna try and not let all the purple things fall. It's a heavy book, and I'm pretty sure that I know the book that is inside of this. Okay, so it is in this like really cool bag. I'm gonna close my eye. Okay, so I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna show it to you guys first. This is so strange, talking to a camera with my eyes closed. I'm trying to get it out of here. Okay, I hope that I'm holding it on the right side. Yes, I hold it on the wrong side, but I guess the book! So this is Flame in the Mist by Renee Audier and it was pretty obvious that it was gonna be this book because in like um, on our Instagram they said that there was gonna be a Mulan retelling book in the box and I immediately guessed it and that's why I got it. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Um, okay, let's see if there's anything special. No, there's nothing really super special on 
like the naked book. So, um, uh, Rene Adier, as most of you guys will know, is the writer of the Wrath and the Dawn duology. I have both of those books on my shelves, but I still haven't read them. But I immediately wanted to get the box when I knew that Flame in the Mist was going to be in it. I don't know if this is going to be a series or anything or if it's a standalone, but it's sort of like a Mulan retelling. And that's all that I need to know about this book. In this pouch, which came with the book, we have a bookmark with like the drawing of the theme on it. And then, ooh, there's a ton of swag in here, I think. Ooh, ooh, yes, another bookmark. So this is a bookmark for Flame in the Mist, which looks really, really cool. And I'm definitely gonna use that when I'm gonna read my book. Ooh, okay, I'm dropping everything right now. So this is a special letter from Renee Audier. So I'm gonna read that when I turn off the camera. And then I have a signed book plate. So cool! I'm saying cool way too many times in this video. Guys, this was my favorite loot unboxing. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I did. I loved it. And I can't wait for next month when I'm gonna receive my June box. So, ooh, I'm super, like, enthusiastic about my very first favorite loot box. I hope that you guys liked it too. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>